With so many of our traditional professions under threat from technological and other societal changes, the burgling community has almost never had it so good. Motor theft has been decimated by improvements in car security, but according to the Home Office, 70% of houses in England and Wales have no burglar alarm fitted at all. So reassuringly for the theft industry, house burglaries remain steady at around 250,000 per year in England and Wales. Even people who have alarms fitted often aren't quite as secure as they believe they are. With police response times at seven to nine minutes, professional burglars know how to get away before trouble comes their way. But now there's a grave new technological threat to burglars. silly people have left their door open and I suspect there's swag within. Now I should point out this is actually my own London flat and I'm only pretending but it seems inside. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my word it's a smoke generator. What am I going to do? Now, this has only been going a few seconds. I'm completely disoriented. I don't even know for sure which is the way out. And I, even, I live here, so <laughs> this is really very strange. Now, it's taken this while for that totally non-toxic smoke to dissipate, which means I can now reveal, quite literally, the machine which put paid to my pretend burglary just now. This is the all British designed and made Stealth Defence Combat 360. And as you can see, it's portable. Now, smoke generating systems have been fitted, plumbed into places like jewellery stores for a while now. But this is the first portable one. And the beauty of that is you can put it in your home, your second home, your business, anywhere you need to deter burglars. Now with me is Frank Fernando from Stealth Defence. Now Frank, uh, first question, we know this is obviously triggered by infrared, but what about if it's not a burglar that triggers it, but next door's cat or a teenage child that's come home late? Um, the system could be calibrated to exclude all animals, um, and we also have a built-in override, so um, it could be overridden to, to stop the... That's this little hand unit, unit here, that's or correct. you can have something in the wall. That's correct. If I'm away on holiday, away from my business, I know the smoke detector is ready, it's armed and activated, ready to go. Does it have any way of telling me that it's activated? We, we, we're currently developing an app that would allow the, the system to trigger a call or a text message to you where you can actually, even if you have a CCTV camera, you can actually look at uh, what's going on in your home and either manually, manually trigger it or let the system automatically okay. trigger it. And what kind of price are we talking about for this machine? Uh, the machine is 2495 plus VAT. That's that includes good. delivery and shipping to your door. Now, when we did my little pretend burglary there, I think it shot out smoke for about 30, 45 seconds. Right. Uh, I think uh, you were saying there's 45 minutes worth of smoke in there. How do you uh, establish how long it's going to need? And can you, can you calibrate the machine to give a certain amount of smoke enough to fill your house and no more? Yes, the, machi the machine's a sta the standard deployment is 45 seconds, but it can actually deploy smoke for up to 60 minutes. But that would fill the entire district, that would, Yes, it would. OK, now there are some quite exciting accessories coming for the Combat 360, aren't there? What are they? Yeah, we, we have the Xenon Flash and the sound barrier. The Xenon Flash basically would just add to the confusion. That's a strobe room. light. It's a it? strobe light, that's correct. So you'd end up with the fog, which was pretty disorienting in itself, and a strobe and sound. Yes. I think that would be enough to put me off if I were a real burglar. Yes, it would. That's it from the Stealth Defence Combat 360. I think it represents a really serious threat to burglars in both homes and business premises, of course. Other than a gun, which I really couldn't recommend, I can't think of anything else which doesn't just warn burglars, but actually makes it impossible for them to do their job. Thanks for watching Technopolis TV.